What is up guys, Austin Rich Show here. I am Zio bringing you another My Morphin Collection episode. This time I've got the brand new SH Figure Arts Green Ranger from San Diego Comic Con. Uh, at least I believe that's what it was. It was a con exclusive being sold exclusively through Entertainment Earth and I was able to pick it up. And this is my very first SH Figure Arts figure ever. So it's kind of super exciting to go into like a more, uh, I would say classier action figure, a more highly detailed figure, a more expensive figure of course so we'll take a look at the box here first so we've got the you've got the power 25 years uh, Power Ranger anniversary which of course happened this year which is now coming to a close and of course Power Rangers moving on from uh, Bandai and stuff and moving on to Hasbro and, and everything then we got the SH figure arts logo there or like wording there then of course we got the Green Ranger which we'll look on the inside his picture there of what he like looks like and everything which looks kind of cool I like how they do for the picture use the actual action figure for the picture not like you know picture from the show or anything then we got Saban's Power Rangers event exclusive H SH figure arts a new standard figure series of course then we got the Tamashi Nations there of course we've done figures and stuff for that with Bandai then a look on the back you can see what the figure looks like so there's him you know what it's gonna look like similar out of the box and poses you can do all sorts of poses because with these figures they have highly detailed joints so they can move a lot um, so you can obviously see you can pose him there and then he does come with the dragon dagger as well and then of course a bunch of warnings and everything so this is really cool and stuff and like I said my very first SH figure arts I did have the White Ranger pre-ordered um, but then as it got closer to Christmas, I was like, you know, I don't need to be spending that money on myself. I've got, you know, other people I need to buy for. So I ended up canceling it. And then a few days later, they put this up on Entertainment Earth and it was on sale or something. And so I ended up buying it, even though after looking at it and going back, this was just a few dollars cheaper compared to the Amazon White Ranger exclusive. And I should have just stuck with the White Ranger because I like the White Ranger more than the Green Ranger. But it's still fine. I saved, you know, a couple dollars maybe. Um, so I but I should have just stuck with it instead. But let's go ahead and get this open. So I'll take it out of the package, look at all the accessories, and try and, you know, do some posing and stuff. Um, have some fun with this figure because that's all we've got for this video and stuff. So let's get into it. So I got the figure out of the package. And again, this thing does look really cool and amazing. So I've obviously dealt with a lot of different Power Ranger figures and stuff. And, of course, a lot of the newer uh, Bandai series of the um, Legacy Collection. or like Yeah, Legacy Collection, I think is what they're called. Um... The figures look nice, but like standing and positioning stuff, they're not really that great or anything. So having this, that was much easy, like really super easy to get to stand up and everything. And of course, because of the posability, it really makes us nice. So we'll take a look at it up close here. So here's a look at the face. So of course, based off Jason David Frank, which I think does look really good, like how he looked back in the early 90s and stuff, back in 93, I guess, or yeah, I'm pretty sure he showed up in 93, maybe 94, not really sure. But um, whenever he showed up into the series, looks a lot like him. So I don't know if the camera can get this much detail into it. It looks like the light's just glaring off too much. I don't think you can see it. But looking up close, his face looks like it was like spray painted. So there's a bunch of like little like dots that you can still see stuff underneath it. But from a distance, I think it make it makes the figure look really good. Like, I think it helps add the detail into the face to make it, you know, look more human and lifelike and stuff. But just seeing it up close, it just look, kind of looks off and funny. Like, the paint job's not that great. Um, but, yeah, it looks like he's got freckles all over his face or something. So, that face sculpt looks really nice. Again, looks a lot like Jason David Frank from back then. Then, of course, he's got his hair pulled back into the ponytail. You can see he's got the shaved, um, I forget what they called like I do what the hairstyle is called but it's where you shave you know the lower part of your head because you only worry about the top for your hair and stuff so he's got the hair pulled back into a ponytail which um they did not add like a pony I didn't know if they would have like a black mark just to signify a ponytail or anything so just his hair pulled back and then of course he does have the earring there in his left ear as well that you can see the silver earring there then going into the Power Ranger armor here so here he's got of course the power armor with the chest plate here the gold chest plate and you can see the little logos there on the chest in the diamond plating there and I like how they did have plastic like up under here and around like this area and stuff I guess to help from like paint like markings or whatever while in packaging so I really like they added that much detail into it um, so we've got yeah the gold chest plate then you can see the classic um, green ranger design there similar to all the other rangers underneath there with the diamond plate and stuff and then of course it's got the gold bands on his arms the gloves with the gold band at the top then of course uh, the similar markings to what the other rangers have um, I guess they 
have diamonds where he just has like triangles there with the green. We'll look at all the joints here in a second. Same on this side as well. Then of course the gloves, which I like the detail in the gloves there with the line markings and stuff on the knuckles, which you know the Rangers have there for extra padding. Then going down, we've got the belt, of course, just the white belt all the way around with the morpher on it. And I like the detail. You can clearly see his logo there on the uh, coin in the morpher and stuff that looks really nice. And of course, the holster there for the dragon dagger. And then going down, just green all the way to get to boots, similar to the gloves. So he's got the triangles, green triangles there with the gold bar around the top. And then the feet, and of course, they have the joints, which we'll look at, um, but just look like the white leather boots. So look at the joints real quick. So for his head, it can, you know, twist pretty well, you know, in different directions. It nods, you know, can spin all the way around. It's probably got a nice ball joint up in there that it sits on. So it can spin around quite a bit. And then next up, we've got our, oh, I'd say like the ab crunch, which he doesn't have a whole lot of movement. Um, at least uh, there, you can feel like really twist it back he goes back and just forth just a little but of course with the chest plate he's not going to be moving too far anyway so he doesn't have a whole lot of movement and it doesn't twist or anything there it twists lower down like right at the waist but yeah the ab crunch there it moves but not too much then we've got the shoulder joint which again it's hard because of this chest plate um, but it does have a lot of movement going around in there um, you can kind of see the movements around that it allows for and everything it feels like something's loose but I think it may just be like that just so it can allow the movement and still look like it's got shoulder covering and everything so yeah it's got that piece up in there that's kind of loose and moving around but allows for a shoulder joint so you can move obviously quite a bit then go down we got a double elbow joint here so again we've got a joint at the top and at the bottom here um, which I can't really get the top one to move very much Maybe it doesn't move. I don't know. Like I said, it's my first figure art, so I don't really know all the details of what goes into these. But it feels like this joint here should be moving some. But it still allows, you know, for pretty good movement, close-up movement there on the elbow. So it's got that. Then, of course, the hand joint can twist around and flex and all sorts of stuff. It's got really nice movements going on there. Of course, this side will be exactly the same, so we don't have to look at that. Then we've got the waist, so right under the belt, which you can kind of see there's a joint in there. And again, that allows for the twisting of side to side. And you can pretty much go all the way around it looks like but it's kind of like a ball thing so we don't want to stretch out too much or anything and possibly break it reminds me of old like gi joes and stuff so i gotta be careful with i don't know want to break this figure since i paid so much for it and everything then we've got the hip joints here so of course the legs they can move out and stuff to allow for posability so you can pull them down or push them back up so they fit in nice and snug there but of course they allow for all sorts of movements and you can do of course the, a lot of martial arts kids like oh yeah like you can kick people and everything so I like all that movement again you just to hide the joints or make it look a little better you just push it up in there and it allows it to pose and everything uh, the holster does move so it does move easily so it's not gonna like fall off as easily so I know like on the uh, other figures these just push in and if you put like position them wrong they'll just fall off and everything so that's nice that it's stuck in there and has all the movement then we got the double knee joint there so again it moves more at the top than it does at the bottom so that must just be how the elbows is so it has a joint that can move a little so like here it's the there so it does allow moving but it's mostly the upper part that can move and you can see you can bend his foot pretty far back to his leg pretty much as far as it can go because it's hitting the gold band is hitting the back of his leg so it's not letting it go any farther so you have a lot of movement there of course same on the other side then on the foot so we do have the foot joint so it can twist around it's a ball joint and everything so it can flex and twist around and everything and then we also have the end of the foot here which does allow you know for better posability like with their foot and everything so it does have this foot little flexion part that bends up and everything there and so yeah that's pretty much it for the actual figure so that looks really cool again I really like this and I can't wait to try and get it to pose and stuff of course I don't not good with poses on figures if you've seen videos and stuff I don't not very creative and stuff so I have to definitely look at the box to get some creativity then we also got the head which I will go ahead and switch out some of this stuff here in a second but I want to show it all first we have the helmet there of course the Green Ranger helmet we got the coin on top of the head and then the design based off the dragon there for the dragon sword of course his monster Eric Zord 
creature, I guess. And then, of course, the face, the visor, the mouth, and everything. So it looks really nice. And then it just pops onto the ball joint. So you just pop his head off and put this one on instead. He comes with the Dragon Dagger, which this is the most detailed Dragon Dagger I've ever seen in a toy. Besides the actual, like, prop of it itself. So there, of course, we got the Dragon Dagger. But the handle, of course, the little um, buttons, I guess, you push for playing the music and everything. The part you blow into. Just the center there with the power coin design on it there and of course all the finger spots you know to play like the flute and everything so I'll definitely have to get that position to go um, into his hand then it just obviously slides down into the holster here it may not go very far that or it may have to twist a different direction maybe I don't know how it's shaped up yeah it may just sit in there a little not go too far in or anything so you just can you know stand that stick that down in there and then he comes with three sets of hands so a hand you can switch out to hold so he's got two grip or um hands here so obviously you can do it to hold the dragon dagger he's got um hands here um so you can kind of do it different so like a plain hand so playing the flute i think that's what this one's for and then this one's just kind of like a pointing motion um it obviously just depends on how you hold the hands and you can just do all sorts of different movements i can use this to hold the dragon dagger as well it just whatever you want to do with it will play around with it to get him to hold the dragon dagger and then we have also got these hands which you can also obviously hold the dragon dagger and do whatever you want to with just different hand movements because you know with Power Rangers they always do like different hand motions especially when they're just standing around stuff so I'm going to play around with this figure real quick I want to get it um, I'm definitely going to switch out the helmet and then I definitely want to get it into this pose right here um, if it'll focus there with him playing the flute and everything that's what I want to uh, get him to do so I'm going to play around with the figure and get him into that pose and I will uh, I guess bring it back once I get it in there so I was finally able to get it in, so it took a lot of uh, work and everything. I still don't think it's perfect, but as you can maybe see there, the mouth part does kind of line up with the mouth. If I just turn it a little bit there, it does line up. And this hand was the hardest because I like couldn't get it over far enough to be able to hold the uh, dragon dagger, to be able to hold it closer to his mouth and everything. So I had to like really like pull on the arm like to get it to move out and around and everything over there. And then, of course, to get this hand to hold the butt of it and everything there. So so I finally got it in so he's now playing the dragon dagger of course calling for the dragon to come in and save the day and so that I guess is going to be it for the review of this figure I think it's super cool so again there's all sorts of poses you can do Power Ranger wise so I was looking at the back so you can obviously have it here where he's holding onto the helmet there and so you just switch out one to one of the open hands you can do this from here where he's got the dragon dagger which I may end up doing that one and or not this pose but like doing that so he's actually holding on to the drag dagger because this one uh, can fall out pretty easily back there so of course that's supposed to be like that pose there um, kind of close and also that one's pretty fun and everything as well but you can do all sorts of poses all different hands and everything just to try and get him to look in all different ways and stuff but that's going to be it for this review of the Green Ranger SH figure arts figure which again I'm super happy and excited about this I really like it um, I feel it stands up pretty easily which again is my issue with a lot of Power Ranger figures is the standing up because like they fall down a lot and I try and stand them all up on my shelf and then it barely you know shakes and stuff and they all fall down and it's like a domino effect to the whole shelf and everything so hopefully this will be a nice one I know obviously they make stands you can buy for them and I think we have one it's a Marvel one though but I do have a stand that I could put them on just to you know make sure it's secure and everything but that's going to be it for this review I hope you enjoyed and seeing this uh, 25th anniversary I guess uh, Comic Con exclusive Green Ranger SH Figure Arts the new version of it um, but thank you all so much for watching if you like the video it, go ahead and subscribe down below don't forget to leave a thumbs up and leave any comments you have for me down below thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode